lot is on me I can say I have no parts I have no lines But I have you And you have me, honey
All right, back in the Jeep now. As you guys saw towards the end of that backcountry hike, it got really, really smoky. That was about five days ago. After I got out of that, I hung out around the north side of Baker and wanted to do another night in the backcountry and wanted to go out and shoot the Milky Way and kind of hang out around that area. But unfortunately, the smoke got even worse the following days. So I ended up heading down into Bellingham for the night, did some laundry, took an actual shower, not just in a lake or a river. I went to an actual campground for that and then just did some work and some planning. It's actually been raining the last two days. I'm down on the south side of Baker right now and happy it rained just because it pushed out all the smoke and put out a lot of the forest fires, which is great, but it's been really difficult to try to film this camping vlog the past couple of days. I thought about just filming the whole thing in the rain, It'd be kind of a moody, cool video, but I want to save that. It's summertime right now. I want to show you a cool camp spot with flowers and a big view. So that is what I'm hoping to do today. I've been driving around for the last hour and a half. I actually had four camp spots picked out all down four service roads and I'm currently 0 for 3 on the day right now. The first one I got to had a locked gate at the front of it, which I'm not really sure why they would have it blocked off this early in the season, but maybe because of fires, they don't want people up high. The second had a ton of downed trees and I didn't feel like trying to pull all of them out with my winch. So spot number three actually had a downed bridge. So it's been kind of a toss up the whole day and just kind of how it goes with these forest service roads. You can only do so much and kind of just luck of the draw. You have to go up and see the conditions themselves. The forest service sites actually have road closures and things but they don't update them on a regular basis so by now spot number four I'm headed to right now this one is on a forest service road as well but it has an actual viewpoint marked on Google Maps so I'm hoping that means that they take care of the road I'm hoping there's no road closures getting up there and also excited to show you guys iCamper's new cooking disc they came out with I've been using that the past couple of weeks and haven't shown it on the channel yet so excited to show you guys that but yeah, hopefully, fingers crossed, I make it up here to this site and get a decent night of camping in. All right, made it up to camp. Baker should be somewhere behind me. Uh, still some clouds right now and the light is kind of harsh so it's tough to show the background, but I think towards sunset things should clear up. I think for now I'm gonna set up the rooftop tent, maybe throw the goal zero up there and edit for a bit on my computer, just go through some photos and maybe read a book, maybe take a nap. I don't know, it's only 5.30 right now so I've got some time to kill. So yeah, we'll go ahead and get everything set up.
All right, good morning, guys. It's about 9.30 right now. Kind of a late start to the day. I woke up for sunrise, but unfortunately this entire camp spot was socked in by a cloud. I was able to get the drone up and above the tree line and that broke me through the clouds. So I got some really cool footage this morning. I'm excited to edit that and throw that in the video. But now it looks sunny out. It looks like it should be nice, but Baker is completely socked in with clouds, not visible at all. And I see more clouds rolling in behind me on the tree line. So probably just gonna cook breakfast and head out of here early. But before I do that, I wanna take a moment to thank this video sponsor, and that is Goal Zero. Goal Zero is a leader in portable power solutions, ranging from large power stations to camping lighting, portable power banks, and solar panels as well. I'm excited to be partnering up with Goal Zero this month to talk about the release of their new product, the Yeti 1000 Core, exclusively on Amazon. The Yeti 1000 Core has a powerful lithium battery that allows for a 1200 watt inverter along with a 2400 watt surge. This just means you can charge anything from laptops, camera gear, drones, phone, whatever it is, even all the way to small appliances such as a blender. I think that means I'm gonna have to get a small blender for the road and maybe whip up some margaritas or something cool in an upcoming vlog. So really excited to be partnering up with Goal Zero this month. Goal Zero has been a brand I've been wanting to work with for a long time. If you haven't checked out their site before, their work ethic, their story is really awesome. And they're pretty much the leader in portable power solutions at this point in the market with the highest quality products by far. So big shout out to Goal Zero for sponsoring this video. And if you guys are interested in getting yourself a Yeti 1000 Core or just seeing some more info on it, make sure to click the link down below in the description and check it out exclusively on Amazon. All right, Jeep is packed up. 
Still no sign of Mount Baker. Clouds are getting darker by the minute, so I think I am going to head out soon. This vlog has felt very different than previous ones. You can set all these plans, you can have all these spots picked out, but sometimes weather is not working accordingly, roads are closed, campsites fall through, and honestly the past week on the road in general has just been kind of dodging bad weather, dodging smoke, rain, and yeah, just a, a different side of things versus, you know, most of my previous vlogs show epic camp spots, perfect sunsets, perfect sunrises, and it's really not always like that. So I feel like this was a more realistic vlog showing you guys um, what it can really be like living on the road. Before I go, I want to say a big thanks to Trail Built Off-Road. If you guys have noticed, I have a new winch up front. It's a worn winch, and the guys over at Trail Built Off-Road hooked it up. So I'll link their stuff down below in the description if you want to check that out. I also want to mention I recently put up an NFT on Foundation, and that is still for sale, so that'll be down in the description as well. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you aren't already, make sure to subscribe. Also follow me on Instagram at drew.sims for more up-to-date road life content. I post a lot of stories on there just showing where I'm currently at and kind of an unedited and raw version of road life. But other than that, I really appreciate you guys watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you next time.